Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the 13th episode of Let's Play Faces of War. In the previous episode we have begun playing the Allied campaign, we have finished the training mission, the first basic training mission where I have explained the basics, as the name implies, the basics of uh, commanding your troops, the basics of just shooting Thompson guns, uh, Bren guns, BARs, Springfield rifle, I mean Enfield rifle, sorry, uh, stuff like that, throwing grenades, blowing up German tanks. And in today's episode, we're gonna continue. We're gonna click on the tank training mission. This is gonna be hopefully a quick one because if you really wanna see how to operate a vehicle, I have already made a German uh, mission of that same thing. It's, it's completely identical in terms of the actual gameplay, but we're like commanding a uh, King Tiger instead of a Pershing in that level. Anyway, so let's read the description and let's get into this shit. Uh, our newly designed Pershing tanks are arriving here tomorrow and we've been entrusted with driving one of them to the Polygon. I'm looking forward to it as we'll be among the first to give this wonder vehicle a try. Let's just listen to what our hero has to say and we're gonna cl click continue after that. New anti-tank cannons and heavy tanks are being sent here to Aknakari to test their maneuverability and fire accuracy. We've been instructed both in artillery and steering armored vehicles, but got our basic training on Stuart tanks. Now we have to get to know the real invader vehicles, new Pershing tanks equipped with 90 millimeter long barrel guns. I'll bet this will be good for us. Yeah, I ironically, I don't think uh, in real life uh, the Allies have used the Pershing tank too often. And uh, we can clearly see that by reading again that this mission is not 100% historically correct. Because if it would be, uh, I don't think we would be operating a Pershing because I think only like a bunch of those actually made it to the front line in World War II. But regardless, I'm yakking and yakking and yakking. Let's just click continue and let's do this. Attention, this is Major Jennings speaking. Welcome to the world of armored troops. I'd like to remind you that your key mission is to bring the column with our newly designed M26 Pershing tank to the shooting range for further testing. You'll get further instructions upon your arrival. Move to the shooting range along the road through a canyon. To do so, select your tank. It's in the center of the column by left clicking on it and then click on where you want it to go. You can use direct control mode, the control and in keys. In this mode, use the arrow keys to move, left click to shoot and right click to shift between armaments now off to the shooting ground all right so by now we know that we are not in fact using arrow keys if you have followed my instructions in my previous videos what we're doing is instead is we have um wasd keys to replace the original arrow keys but what i have just noticed is that there's an ammo crate right on top of that uh pershing how how it doesn't fall off is beyond me uh, but that kind of looks cool. I'm noticing this for the first time, actually. That they have added such a part of small detail in this game. Okay, that Sherman's gonna get wrecked. Ooh! Commander, our right track has fallen off. The 101 crew wasn't so lucky. I bet a dozen mechanics couldn't fix the tank in one day. Shit! This landslide sure is going to cost our army a lot. Okay, we've got to get out of here. We'll fix what we can and head off to the shooting range. They're waiting for us there. I'd say that the 101 crew was really lucky because uh, judging by how those rocks fell, they could have just been squashed, you know, into, into fine red paste. To get out of a vehicle, click on the Make the Crew Get Out icon on the front panel. An arrow icon will appear. And then specify the landing place by left-clicking on it. You can make one soldier get out by clicking on his image in the group screen. Now, order someone from the crew to leave the tank. I kind of never done that for some reason. Where, where's this thing? We abandon unit? No. 
You see, like, I I'm making a playthrough, but at the same time I'm being dumb. I guess this is the, yeah. Yes, this is what I have to do instead. Now, go up to the tank and take a repair kit. To do so, select your soldier, then click on the view icon or press the X key. An I icon will appear. Because basically, that, up to this left point... Left-click on the tank and transfer the repair kit to your narrator, backpack. Narrator, can you the shut the... Story screen. Can you shut the hell up, please? So, like, up to this point, I have Got always it, been exiting vehicles in a very... Uh, sluggish way. I, I've been clicking on individual soldiers yes, until they're all out. But anyway, whatever works is fine, I guess. Click on the repair icon. A wrench icon will appear. And then click on the tank you want to repair. Once the repair is complete, the repair kit will be automatically transferred back into the tank. In the future, you'll be able to repair vehicles by merely clicking yes, on the sir. repair icon. Your soldiers will automatically carry out all the operations. Now, repair your tank. All right, it's done. The problem with the track has been fixed. You can move on. Order your people to get into the tank it, and make sir. the 101 crew take seats on the armor. To do so, select them and click on your tank. After that, yes, go to sir. the shooting ground. Okay, everybody, hop on and let's go. Too bad I don't have no... Uh tank shells I would have blasted that Sherman sky high can I can I fire with the pistol all right now I have some ammo I'm gonna blast that other soldier in the back you see he, he's a ghost you left. can't even shoot him his, first thing to do is he's not made tank. out of flesh you run out of fuel this immaterial there are a couple of empty barrels near the fuel truck click on your soldier and position the mouse cursor over one of them and icon will appear then left click on the barrel Right, everybody, yes, get off my tank. All right, so again, we have this poser here trying to fix our vehicle. We're gonna, yes, sir. Got it, sir. We're gonna punish him for that. Just knock him out, dude. Knock him out. In progress. I told you to knock him out. Come on. Ah. There we go. Can, can I hit him again? Uh, what is he repairing now? He's like three feet away from the tank. All right, so what do we have to yes, do? Sir. I'm uh, taking my sweet ass time doing this. It, Bring your tank to the shooting range for further tests. What did the... Uh, okay, fuel, yes, we need fuel. So now, let's take this. The mouse cursor over the fuel truck, a drop icon will appear and then click on it to have your soldier drain some fuel from the fuel tank into the barrel. After that, simply left click on your tank to refuel it. Okay, let's refuel this thing. I can bet that it just great. The tank's been a refueled. lot of fuel. We won't need the barrel any longer, so put it on the ground. To do so, click on the drop icon. Now it's time to replenish the ammo. Look into the truck. There should be everything that's needed Guys, there. Get ready Drag for the words. shells and machine gun cartridges from the truck into your inventory. Then come up to your tank and transfer the ammo into it using the X key. Replenish the machine gun cartridge belts as well as armor piercing and high explosive shells. So one cool thing is that in the newer Men of War games, uh, instead of running up to the, you know, to a vehicle and individually taking uh, shells with a soldier, uh, they make your life much easier in like Assault Squad 2. You can actually drive up to an another tank or whatever, like a supply vehicle with your tank, and you can transfer items between two vehicles, which is really cool because it might not be very realistic at all, Perfectly but it's done. much faster that way, right? Anywho, so let's keep doing this. We did it! Okay, let's take some ammo. Are we good, or do we need to take everything? Attention, soldiers! Okay, nice. We've just received new instructions from Major Jennings. While the technicians prepare the tank for testing, we've got work to do. All right, so we're gonna be. Our new M5 gun was delivered here for zero Testing and AT bring gun. it to the firing line to take a couple of shots. If everything runs smoothly, the gun will be given to our artillery units. Order the soldiers to get into the vehicle with the gun attached. To Got do it, so, sir. position the mouse cursor over it, an arrow icon will appear, and left click on it. Okay, now bring the truck with the gun to the spot in the firing line marked with an arrow. That's it. Unhook the gun from the truck oh, by they clicking just on the unlink icon. Good thing that, okay, so good thing that that box of like that 
pile of crates, pile of boxes didn't have like tank shells in them because they would have been fried chicken yes, by now if that would have been the case. These two soldiers. Okay, what the hell am I doing? I should uh yeah unlink the. You need to roll the gun. the gun to the firing line. Select two of your soldiers, then position the mouse cursor over the gun. An arrow icon will appear, it, and left-click on it to it, make the gun crew take their places by the gun. Yeah, you guys do that because you you, you gotta be grateful mode, to. The gun is operated the same way as any vehicle. Now roll the gun to the firing line. You guys have to be grateful to uh, Fortune for not being uh, burned to a crisp by now. Anyway, one other thing to point out is that by clicking spacebar, you deploy the gun either to a firing kind of a mode or uh you know a movement type of a mode so you deploy or undeploy the gun that way now you can start okay, let's do this this is really straightforward we're gonna load the direct fire uh the ap shells i don't know how that panzer 3 took that shot right in the side and maybe it's because i hit it in the tracks one's been destroyed All right, man. I think this gun is going to prove very useful on the front lines. Now move on. Our tank is now ready. Let's see what this miracle of design can do. Okay, let's get out. Yes, sir. The tank gun. Let's just leave it, abandon it, and we're gonna run straight to the Persian tank, and we're gonna yes, round up the mission at that point because we gotta shoot some vehicles, but it's. It's not going to take too much time. To be operated to maximum efficiency on the battlefield, the tank crew should include a driver, a loader, a shooter, and a tank commander. They are respectively marked by icons representing a steering wheel, shells, sights, and a chevron. So, for example, if only one person operates the tank, he'll have to fulfill the functions of every crew member in turn. Therefore, the tank won't be able to move, fire, and reload simultaneously. This considerably decreases the tank's efficiency. So try to staff the crew completely before heading into combat. Uh, no shit, Sherlock, because if we have like one guy sitting inside a tank, he's just gonna be sweating his balls, like changing roles, loading, shooting, all that stuff. Bring Driving. your tank to the shooting range for firing. Let's go, finally, let's move. All of these things are uh, so far very self-explanatory. I don't think this needs to be even explained. We have uh, a bunch of German vehicles there. I guess the American troops are very generous by using all of these relatively modern vehicles as target dummies. I guess they had a lot of trophies from the battlefields. They took a lot of stuff from the, you know, from the Germans at this point, which would make now a lot of sense. Now enemy vehicles combining various types of enemies. Hit all targets in the tank machine. Take a look at the mini map. Your targets will be shown in red. Right click the primary and secondary armament. Click the secondary armament screen will enable you to select the tank machine that you wish to fire. Right, aim again, aim again and shoot again. Is that thing out? Yeah, it is. Guys, if you miss a lot, they're not gonna accept you into the tank forces. They're just gonna send you as regular GIs and then you can uh, say your prayers and say goodbye to life. At least here you have, you know, the thick-ass armor of a tank protecting you. Yeah, I don't think I can kill this with an AP, can I? Yeah, that just went right through. I'm just gonna use a... So, I, I don't think cannon shells are gonna do anything. At least they didn't. In the previous mission, I was shooting like one target dummy with HE rounds for like five times and nothing happened. You see? Same here. So we got to take it out with a, with a machine gun. I guess this part of the mission is kind of bugged, right? See, that doesn't do anything. Okay, finally. So we still have like two targets, right? We'll have that Puma. And we have the armored car over there. 
Right, that's a lot of... That's a lot of... This is Major Jennings vehicles that were just destroyed. The M26 tank has proved to be perfect. Very powerful, reliable, and easy to operate. There are some minor weaknesses, but I don't think they'll be a big problem for our weapons designers. Now, convoy the tank back to the base, and then head to the battle unit. I've got something more interesting in store for you. Alright, so like I said, the... The amount of vehicles that was destroyed, I guess, cost a lot of money, but... We're planning a small-scale operation in the enemy rear, requiring well-prepared volunteers. If you show your worth, you will serve in our elite units. This is your chance. If you want to volunteer, leave this tank here and get into my car. I'll brief you on the way. If you prefer to refuse and go to the front as soon as possible, then that's up to you. In that case, bring the tank back to base and wait for further orders. All right, let's get inside that uh, Willis MB and let's just uh, head on to the next mission, which is going to be elite training, which is essentially kind of like stealth type of commando stuff. The Persian is coming back to the base, commanded by the well, AI. The designers did a real good job. When you're behind a Pershing's thick armor, you feel untouchable, but the tank is way too noisy. Even with the specially designed helmets, my ears just won't stop ringing. Yeah, so I guess you did the right thing by switching to a commando role, because if you would stay as a tanker and go through the entire war, then you would go back to America being like deaf as shit, you know, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't hear anything, so you don't need that. So let's click continue, let's click complete it. We have finished uh, the second American mission, which is kind of like, you know, just like a training thing, not, not a real mission. And it's already showing us how we can play, you know, the radar mission, but uh, in the next episode, we're not going to be playing that. We're, instead, we're going to be playing the third final elite training uh, level. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this level. I hope it was uh, useful to you, informative. I hope that, you know, you have managed to maybe gather some information, useful information from my playthrough, although I doubt it. But regardless, if you have enjoyed my shit, click the like button. If you have disliked my shit, click the dislike button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because thus wise you are going to be supporting me just humongously. You know, I'm going to be grateful to you because uh, seeing more and more subscribers is really important for me. It, it gives me, you know, enthusiasm just to keep going and making more playthroughs and shit. Anyway, I'm going to see you soon, guys. Until then, take care and stay safe.